and just bringing you um, important training today on the topic of permissions boundaries, which you're going to need to know and want to know for use with the new AWS accounts. So those new accounts, uh, the way you can tell what a new account is, is if it has a prefix, okay? So some of the older accounts, they do not have this uh, functionality we're going to be talking about. Uh, and so in a new account, you will um, be able to see and learn about um, permissions boundaries, okay? So I'm going to do is go to the SWAT account, the new one. There it is. And I'm going to log in as power user. And what we're talking about today is called permissions boundaries. And so we're actually taking advantage of this new functionality that AWS has given us. And I'm going to show you how we're going to be using that here. So I just want to give you a little bit of background before we get started on what you're probably more familiar with, which is what you've been using is the power user role. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is draw a couple of um, permission sets, so to speak, and a, a little bit of a Venn diagram here. Okay. So these uh, represent uh, the permissions that we had in the past. So in the past, power user, uh, they, it could do a lot of good things over here. These were the things we wanted it to do, lots of good things like uh, create an EC2, you know, create an S3, right? Uh, but uh, it couldn't do everything, right? And so the problem, what the problem introduced here is that we would love to have given you some uh, IAM, some IAM rights, but the tricky thing with that is that if I give you IAM create or something along those lines, then that means you could come over here and do uh, bad things, so to speak, right? So um, I'm just going to put that over here. So here was bad things, things like giving yourself, uh, giving account admin, right? Deleting certain things. Maybe you shouldn't be able to delete like VPCs, stuff like that, right? And so what happened is uh, because of this kind of gray area here where if we gave you the ability to create things that uh, escalate your privileges, then that enabled a whole bunch of bad things. So what happens is we said, okay, well, we're going to, uh, we're going to give you all of these good things, but unfortunately this, this part here, this intersection is going to require a little bit of oversight. Okay. So, uh, what happened is this here, this is what we ended up giving you that. Okay. And the great news that we're excited to announce is that as of to, as of today with going to the new account structure, we are now giving you uh, this back right now. We are giving with the advent of permissions boundaries. AWS is giving us the ability to define that boundary right there that we were that we were worried about. OK, so we're now going to show you how you can get all of this back, the ability to create uh, users and policies and attach users and policies. So basically, since we can define this new, this little section right here called the permission boundaries, basically now all we have to do is say, hey, you can go create these things with the condition that you add this boundary to it. Okay. And so that may be a little bit, uh, um, hard to visualize right here in this whiteboard here. Let me show you what it looks like in the console. So basically, if we take a look at the power user role that you have and most likely will be using, um, you will see here that it has a condition right here. It says, hey, you can attach a user policy with the condition that you add a permission boundary named this. This is very important. It has to be named exactly that, IAM user permission boundary. And then similarly, uh, for that's for users, but there's also one that's just like it, but for roles. Okay, so if you're going to attach a policy to a role, you're going to need the attach role policy. And you're allowed to do that as long as you add the condition of an IAM permissions boundary of the IAM role permissions boundary. Okay, so let's go see what that would look like in practice. So first of all, I can go make any policy I want. Okay, I can go make... Uh, for example, even an account admin policy. As a power user, I can make an account admin policy. And so where the rubber meets the road is in the fact that I can't attach this policy 
to anything uh, without the permissions boundary. Okay, so yeah, you can make any policy you want, which you'll want to do. Um, so the fact that I can make this doesn't hurt anything. It's only can I attach it. Okay, so now let's say I go make a new, uh, let's go make, make a new test user. I can make any user too. Any user. <clears throat> um, but you can't make, um, you can't make console access users. You can only make programmatic users. Okay, so you can make any user you want, even give them account admin. <clears throat> uh, thing is, it probably won't work. There's no permissions boundary set. Um, yeah, it says, hey, user created but with errors. Okay, so it, you had the rights to create a user. You just didn't have the rights to attach the account admin. Okay, so if I go back to this any user, and let's say we go uh, try to add a policy, not account. And what about the one we just made? What was it? Test admin or something like that. There, there's some test admins. I should not be able to attach this. Okay, and that's right. There's the beauty of the of the uh, the the um, permission boundary. Okay, I can only use this role of attach user policy. I can only use that uh, permission if I use a permissions boundary. Okay, so what we got to do. Uh, is use this permissions boundary here. So we're going to set the boundary, and for a uh, for a user, we're going to use the. Uh, if I search for perm boundary here, for a user, I need to use the user permission boundary. For a role, I need to use the role permission boundary. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that, set the boundary, and now I can pretty much um, add anything else I want. To that, uh, to that user, should should go through just fine. There you go. Okay. So similar thing with a role. If I'm going to make a new role, let's say for EC2, if I'm trying to add account administrator, it's not going to go through because I'm not setting a permissions boundary. Okay. And so let's do a test role, create role. I cannot attach a role policy. Okay, what I have to do is set that permissions boundary to be able to do that. So we'll come back here, and this time we're going to use. Oh, let's actually test that. Let's actually use the role one. So we said perm boundary. Use this role permission boundary. Let's just go ahead and do that. Or if we pick the wrong one, it should still error out. See that? So we have to do is pick the role one. And then you can do it. Hopefully this entity already exists. All right, we'll try another again. So basically now we're saying you can come in here and make stuff as long as you add that boundary. Um, now that's great if it's you that's trying to make stuff. Uh, there are a lot of times when it's um, like a code build or a code pipeline, that kind of thing, where it's something else that you're trying to get to make stuff. Okay, so that's where we come into the, the power builder policy. Okay, so we have this power builder role, I should say, and it works very much the same way. Uh, we have these trust relationships here with uh, events and code deploy and code build. So if you're using any of these services, then you're going to want to use um, a similar thing. You're going to want to use this role um, and you're going to want to use this role to, uh, to for your automated deployment type things. Okay. And it, it's set up to use the role permission boundary as well. Okay, so if you're using code build, code pipeline, code deploy, uh, you're going to want to use the power builder role for those for those entities. Okay, there's the uh, the new permissions boundaries here. I just type in perm bound, and there's those two: one for roles and one for users, and then power user and power builder for the two. For the two roles okay so 
Uh, now, what about things like Terraform and Handle and CloudFormation? Okay, uh, these are already set up to use uh, these um, these permission boundaries. Okay, so let's take a look at CloudFormation. So this is an IAM role that you're trying to make, and as you can see here in the JSON, it has a property of permission boundary. Okay, so if I click on that. It says the ARN of the policy used to set the permissions boundary for the role. So now when you, if you have a role that you need to make, uh, you're just going to um, make sure that you add in the policy of the role that you're trying to attach uh, the permissions boundary, whether you use YAML or JSON for CloudFormation. Okay? Similarly, Terraform also supports uh, permissions boundaries as well. So if we look at this argument reference here, we see that there is a property of a permission boundary. It is optional, and again, it's the ARN of the policy that's used to set the permission boundary for the role. Uh, a specific example of this looks like something like this. So you have your resource here, I am user, and you have a permissions boundary, and you have a link to the ARN of that permissions boundary. Okay. So, uh, you know, if you want to dig deep into these policies and look at exactly what we've done, basically, we don't want a uh, power user to delete the things that created this. We don't want power user to uh, be able to delete, um, delete permissions boundaries. Like I shouldn't be able to remove that kind of thing. So we, we've tried to think through this kind of stuff, like, we don't want power user to be able to delete the admin user, for example, which I'm not going to test live right now. <laughs> so, uh, or the admin role, I should say. Um, so, you know, hopefully clicking on that would not work. Um, but if you run into a situation with this understanding that we have of how this is set up, uh, if you see something that you think uh, you shouldn't be able to do as power user, please let us know. Uh, if you run into a use case where you think, hey, uh, I think I should be able to do this XYZ use case, and I can't, I'm getting an error, uh, then please let us know that too. We want you guys to be empowered to, uh, to get your work um, done as efficiently as possible. This is a great win for all of us, for, um, for those that were waiting on SWAT team for SWAT uh, to have to do things. It's a great win for all of us, and that is permission boundary in uh, in a nutshell let us know if you have any more questions on that and uh, get out there and uh, make great stuff we'll catch you next time thanks so much bye